Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to ask you, what is your excuse? What is your excuse for procrastination and laziness? I want to show you a brief clip of a man named Richard Turner. He's blind and he is a card mechanic, a magician type thing. Which you may say, wait, how in the world can somebody blind pick cards out and tell you which card you picked and do these tricks and stuff when he can't even see the cards? Watch this clip. I think it'll be very informative for you. And also his point at the end of it is so valuable. If you will hear it and really let it resonate with you, I think it's going to make a big difference in your life. My vision started going south when I was nine years old. So I have no sight, but I don't call myself blind because I see things in ways that other people can't see. People always want to know how I can determine different cards. My thumbs and my fingers can feel things that other hands can't. I now have 10 eyeballs. I'm a card mechanic. I demonstrate how many ways you can be cheated at cards. A card mechanic is somebody who controls the outcome of a card game. And the techniques for the card table are literally a thousand times more difficult to develop than the techniques we use to perform card magic. Ever since I started karate, people say, you're a black belt? How can you possibly fight? I haven't missed a workout in 45 years and two weeks. And we all have obstacles, all of us. You know what I consider the worst disability of all? Procrastination and laziness. Give me blindness over that any day of the week. Think of that quote right there. You know what I consider the worst disability of all? Procrastination and laziness. Give me blindness over that any day of the week. Now think about that. My friend, many people are walking today. They have perfect health. They have their vision. They have their hearing. They have whatever they need, all their senses, all their faculties about them. And yet their lives are one of procrastination and laziness. Now I'm not saying this to be hard on you. I'm saying this to hopefully make somebody wake up. We have a very short period on this earth. As the grass withers and the flower fadeth, so is our life. It's short, it's brief, it's fleeting. It seems long, especially when you're young. It seems like you got a long, infinite amount of time to do the things you need to do. But what happens is years fold into years, which fold into decades, which folds into your entire life. And it seems like it's gone in a flash. The last thing you want to do is end your life not having accomplished the things you wanted to accomplish, not having done anything, just existed, just done what everybody else is doing, being one of a number. Have you watched ants go into a pile? They all look the same, look like they have no uniqueness or differentiating between them and another ant. They're just one of many. They're average. They all do the same things. That doesn't have to be you. Yes, that's most people. But that doesn't have to be you. The fact you'd even watch a video like this is probably indicating that you have something different about you or a desire to be different. And God gives you the desires of your heart. He both places them there and he gives you the ability to attain those desires. If you have a desire to be different, a desire to be better, to break out of procrastination, break out of laziness, break out of just this entertainment mentality and putting off the things you need to do for another day, then this is what you need to hear. Think of all the obstacles a blind person has to go through in order to accomplish the same things you can accomplish each day with your sight. And here's a man accomplishing what he wants to accomplish, what he's dreaming to accomplish, what he desires to accomplish each and every day, never letting up on his training, for, for decades and decades in time when he could easily give up and no one would even question it because of, of his disability. And yet he doesn't. And people with everything going for them procrastinate and they are lazy and they don't do the things they need to be doing. And they don't even try to figure out what they need to be doing. They're just going through the motions existing. And that's no way to live a life. You're not here just to exist, to kill time until you die, to wait out the time clock on life. 
You're here to become something great. And yes, most people won't. But that's not you. Don't compare yourself with other people. You can always find somebody worse off than you. Somebody that's even lazier than you are. That procrastinates even more than you. Is that really the standard you want to hold yourself to? To being less than the miserable failures? You know, this guy is blind and accomplishing great things. And yet there's many sighted failures out there. Think of the mentality that he would rather, and he's, I think he's being sincere, he would rather have blindness than the procrastination and laziness that most people live their lives with. He's out there not letting anything hold him back. And then people with all the opportunities available to them in the world, including their sight, which is a great blessing to have, obviously. And it's being used on nothing. It's being used to just waste the time until you die not accomplish anything and then and then there's these excuses that people rationalize failure to themselves and rationalize laziness and procrastination and say well you know it's not all about money oh it's not all about success as if anyone's saying that and yet the real meaning of those type of phrases is to say I don't want to have to do more I want I'm happy and content with mediocrity. Failure is not that bad of a thing. That's the mentality. And that's the very mentality you have to run away from. If you want to procrastinate, procrastinate on the things you don't need to be doing. So entertainment, procrastinate on that. Sports, procrastinate on that. Unless it's exercise, obviously, for you. But just watching sports, entertainment, these kind of things, procrastinate on those things. Stop procrastinating the things you need to do and start procrastinating on the things you don't need to do. You have limited willpower each day. You have limited capabilities and energy each day. You have to eventually sleep. Why not get the most you could possibly get accomplished each day? Do you really want to go through your life and see the years pass by and the time you weren't working was spent watching videos, movies, sports, listening to music, and doing things that only exist to kill time. Relaxation becomes your focus in life, not something that is a rare occurrence to give yourself a little short break. And then you get right back into accomplishing and achieving great things. Yes, you need rest and relaxation. That's perfectly fine. But many people's entire lives revolve around that, and the majority of their time is spent in rest and relaxation, not a very, very small minority. Now, I know the temptation is to just fall in line with what everybody does, because here's one of the things. When you start accomplishing anything, doesn't matter what it is, doesn't matter how big or how small, when you start having any kind of accomplishments, you'll start getting pushback from other people, friends and family, supposedly that think they're helping you, but really what it is, is a cover for jealousy. They don't like that you're doing something. And your accomplishment achievement focuses a shining spotlight on their inadequacies, on their failure, on their refusal to do the bare minimum, on their procrastination and their laziness. And a lot of people don't like that. Even though you're not saying anything, you're not criticizing them or anything like that, It doesn't matter. People will see that. They'll see your accomplishments as an attack upon them. And so, yes, you're going to have some obstacles from people that will try to hold you back, keep you. You're climbing up the mountain of success, rock climbing, basically. And they're down on the ground trying to pull you down. Well, you know, you don't need to do that. Oh, you work too. You need to take a break. Oh, you know, what about your family? What about... And they have all kinds of excuses that can sound really rational, but they lead to death, to mediocrity, to failure, to misery, and to a life not really lived, a life that was just where one existed. Virtually no different than a potted plant, except the plant grows and accomplishes what it's supposed to accomplish, and most people are not growing at all. They're artificial plants, so to speak. They're just sitting there doing the things that look on the surface like what they need to do, never accomplishing anything, never really growing. But that's not going to be you. 
Why spend another second waiting your life out? Just waiting for the time to, to pass by until you're dead. Is that really what you want to do? Is that really how your life is to exist? To be simply and only to exist? To do the bare minimum at everything you do? To not have any accomplishments or achievements in your life? Nothing you can look back at and say, wow, that was good. I'm glad I did that. Wow, I really accomplished something there. Or maybe you didn't even accomplish something, but you really, you reached out for greatness and you made the effort. Maybe it didn't work out. You don't want to be that person that looks back on your life and says, I could have accomplished great things. I could have done great things. I could have reached out for greatness, but I didn't. I've counseled with elderly people late in their lives. And one of the most tragic things you hear is all the things they wish they would have done or even have tried to have done or that they would have taken more risk because now they realize looking back on life, everything worked out for their favor. If they just taken better and greater risks and put forth more effort, they would have accomplished more. And now they're looking back on a life wasted, just reliving the failure and the mediocrity that they fell in line with. My friend, that doesn't have to be you. This life is very fleeting. Don't use your time, your most precious gift you have of time on procrastination and laziness.